As most people stay home and have more time to watch TV, sports networks can only offer reruns, and that leaves their audience vulnerable to Netflix as it continues to drop new content. But has Fox Sports found a way to fight back? Let's take a look. This is End Screen Noise. My name is Colin Dixon, founder and chief analyst at End Screen Media, and today is March 26th, 2020. Sports broadcasters are scrambling to fill the holes in their schedule that has been left by the cancellation of pretty much all major sports. To give you an example, NBC Sports Network, well, it's the home of the Premier League and normally right now, it's the end of the season and there'll be a lot of very exciting games. Well, it is filling its schedule with old NFL and NHL games and a bunch of talking heads, which I'm sure isn't attracting anywhere near the audience that those live premier games were doing. Uh, and really, this is just another illustration of how terrible this coronavirus is being on just about every aspect of daily life at the moment. According to Hub Research, 50, 58% of us in the US are now only leaving our homes for necess necess necessities, excuse me. And the rest, well, most of the rest are saying that they're staying home a lot more. And one of the things they would normally be doing is filling some of that extra time with watching live sports. But of course, they can't do that. But they are watching a lot more TV, according to Hub Research. They say that about two thirds of Netflix, uh, Disney Plus and Hulu viewers say that they are now watching lots more through those services. Now, traditional TV viewing is being used more as well. Uh, people that watch traditional TV say that about 56% about of them say that they're watching more, but that's considerably less than watching online uh, on the online watches. Uh, and I got a feeling that's because of the absence of new stuff. Uh, television is finishing, finish, filling its schedules with reruns and reruns of old live sports, uh, and that's just not as interesting. And that will get more of a problem the longer this goes on, particularly when you think that Netflix is continuing to drop 35 new shows a week into its service. Ted Sarandis says that they have no plans of slowing that down for the next couple of months. So for at least the next couple of months, if you have a choice between watching something new on Netflix or an old rerun of a game on TV, I got a feeling most people are gonna opt for the new on Netflix. Now, some sports broadcasters are not standing still. They're looking to replace live with new live content. And Fox tried just that last Sunday with eNASCAR iRacing. It got together a bunch of NASCAR stars, old NASCAR stars like Dale Earnhardt, Dale Earnhardt Jr. and Bobby Labonte. Uh, and 35 others. They had 35 people racing electronic cars around the track. Uh, and about 905,000 people tuned in to watch uh, Daytona 500 winner Denny Hamlin take the checkered flag. Uh, and this did great. This was uh, the best performing show on FS1 since the shutdown, the sports shutdown started on March 12th. And it broke a whole bunch of other records for esports as well. And it actually stands up pretty well against a regular NASCAR race that drew audiences of about 3 million per race last season. So uh, it did pretty well. And Fox was happy enough that it is committed to broadcast the rest of the series. And you won't have to wait long because the next race is Sunday on the 29th at 1 p.m. Eastern. Now, I have a feeling that Fox is not going to earn as much revenue from advertising per head as it did with NASCAR. And it's not because of the number of people. It's because advertising rates are forward, falling because so many businesses are, impact, are impacted by coronavirus that they're pulling back on their television advertising as well. So rates are falling. However, it's got to be better than a bunch of NHL and NFL reruns, right? Now, hopefully NBC Sports is also listening to this and will try something new. For example, I could see them 
working with FIFA 2020, which is eSoccer. They could do the similar thing as, uh, as Fox has done with NASCAR. Uh, and actually, I heard of a trial in England, and it actually did pretty well, uh, according to the report that I heard. And other sports networks can obviously try the same with Major League Boy Baseball and with NHL and NFL and, and all sorts of other games uh, that all have electronic equivalents. Uh, but for NBCU, I'm afraid it's not just the lack of Premier League that's going to hurt them. The company had $1.25 billion in advertising for the Olympics nailed down. Now that has been moved out to 2021. I think there is no way it's going to be able to replace that revenue with anything electronic anytime soon. Now, if you're enjoying this coverage, uh, why don't you come to the End Screen Media website and sign up for our newsletter. The button's right there on the front page and it's daily or weekly. Take your choice. And it's, of course, free. And we'll continue to cover how TV networks scramble to fill their, their schedules and how online TV picks up the slack in the coming weeks. This has been Colin Dixon. We'll see you again next time. <laughs>